Hello everybody, Uber Lady Charlotte here and I just wanted to say good afternoon. I am off work for a couple of hours because I got to move and uh, I want to give a quick shout out to Uber Dude Tampa. Um, I asked him to make a, a video about sole proprietorship and LLCs and um, he also went a little deeper than that. He also looked at the way bill and explained it to you and he also did um, some information about Uber's insurance. So um, the video is really, really good, very informative, and I think you all need to take a look at it. So it's Uberdo Tampa. I know I don't have the link down in the bottom of my description. Y'all know I'm still learning how to do this stuff. So, um, but just look for them. Uber, I'm sorry, Uberman Tampa, not Uberdo. Uberdo is in Florida, but Uberman Tampa. Um, check out that video. It's about LLCs and sole proprietorships. Um, let's see, what's going on new with me? Uh, well, I was thrown into a, a different position today at work and uh, this morning. Did I know what I was doing? No. No. Did I sound confident? Sure as hell did. Did I end up doing it right? I did, after several mistakes. Sitting there on my own figuring it out, but I got it. Uh, Y'all know I jump in with both feet trying to learn anything. Um, let's see. Halloween. Halloween in Uber. I don't, I don't know if I'm going to go out. I might go out. You know what? I probably will go out so I can get some more stories. Nighttime is where you get your best stories. Oh, hey, Classy Jewel. Uh, nighttime is the time that you get some of your best stories. And hey, Carrie Brooks. I'm sorry I'm shouting out names as I remember them. Um, Gator, Car uh, Cassie, Uber Dude. So many other people. Dan. Um, y'all it's just so many y'all that i really love and appreciate but anyway y'all know i get off track all right so we're going back to um halloween so yeah i will get out there i'll get out there and again that's where i get my stories from so i'm sure they're going to be some humdingers coming our way um uh, i'm glad a lot of you guys like the pineapple story i'm i'm thinking i might have to go get us the footage i may have to go up to the grocery store tomorrow i'm gonna go to that little town little area and I'm going to just swim around at the grocery stores. And then we're going to swim around together. That's if I go do it. We're going to swim around together and see if we see any pineapples in the car. Upside down. That's, I think that would be a good video. But we'll see. We'll see. Um, let's see. Anything else new? Let's see. Oh, I got a story coming up um, later on tonight about my daughter. Um, I don't know. I might tell it now. Yeah, okay, I'll go ahead and tell it now. Um, at the time, my oldest daughter, she was about, I think, yeah, she was 17. Um, and she had gotten a job at the mall. But she also used to donate plasma. I don't know if any of you have ever donated plasma, but if you donate, you got to eat and you got to drink lots of fluid. You just can't just go donate plasma and be fine after that. Because I got my own story about that, and I'll tell y'all later on tonight. So... She, it was her first day on the job, Concord Mills. And my daughter, she she works real hard. She always has since she was 12. Um, she liked money like her mama do. But she got her first job at Dollar Tree. And um, she had just donated some plasma. She might have been, yeah, she might have been 18 then, not 17. She might have been 18 then. And she donated at the plasma place. And then so she went straight to work. She didn't eat. So she said she asked her boss, um, can I go get some water? Because she said she wasn't feeling well. And the boss was like, well, no, just not right now. Can you just hold on and just continue to stock, you know, stock the shelves and the baskets? And then after a while, you'll get some water. Can you just, just hold on? She was like, okay. Because, see, she didn't want to make the lady mad. So she said she continued to stock, and she just started feeling dizzy and woozy. And she said she asked her again, ma'am, can I please go get some water? I'm just really thirsty. And she was like, well, just can you just hold on just a little while longer? Um, it won't be long, I promise. We're almost done. She's like, yes, ma'am. So she said, next thing you know, she was asleep. And she felt so comfortable. She's like, wow, thinking to herself with her eyes shut, this is the best rest I have had in a long time. I feel really good. So she said, wait a minute. Why am I asleep? Last I remember, I was at work. Why am I waking up? She said, then she heard this little boy say, mom. Is she dead? She's like, is she dead? Who dead? Because she wouldn't open her eyes. And then when she said it all came to her like a rushing wind. Oh my God. I have fainted at work. 
And so she said she heard all these little people talking around her. One lady said, maybe she's pregnant. And she was like, oh my God, I am so embarrassed. I can't open up my eyes. She said, next thing you know, she heard the paramedics coming in and they opened up her eyes to look at it. She just opened up her eyes and, you know, they asked her, you know, how did she feel and all that. And she had just donated plasma. And then they told her that she had passed out because she hadn't eaten that morning. And so she said she was so embarrassed. So then the manager told her she can go home. So when she came home, I said, you all right, honey? She's like, mom, I passed out on my job the very first day. I woke up to the voice of a little boy asking his mom if I was dead and right over in my face. And another lady said, maybe she's pregnant. She said, I am so embarrassed. I said, oh, just shake it off. It's all right, honey. Just shake it off. You'll, you'll do better on the next job. Well, she didn't understand. You know, my daughter called, she called every day asking this job if she was on the schedule. And every day they told her she was not on the schedule. So she said, Mom, every time I call and ask them, what time do I come to work? They keep telling me I'm not on the schedule. I said, baby, how long you been calling them? She said, I don't call now for about three weeks. I said, oh, I never did have this conversation with you about life and your job and all that. I said, honey, you lost that job when you fainted. She said, I lost my job. She said, they didn't tell me I was fired. I said, well, baby, it's against the law for them to fire you because you got sick on the job or because you fainted. They can't fire you for that. So what they're going to do is just never put you on the schedule and they hope you fall off like a raindrop. They just hope you just drip off. You just boop and you're gone. I said, but they're never going to tell you fired, honey. I said, you've been calling for three weeks. It didn't dawn on you that you didn't work there no more. She's like, no. I, I would just call the lady and just ask her, do I still work there? I said, that would be good. That would be good. But she going to tell you, yeah, they just ain't put you on the schedule. You know, not enough hours to give out. My daughter called and asked the lady, did y'all fire me? She said, no, we just don't have enough hours to give you. But as soon as we get some more hours, you know, we've been cutting back. We'll let you know. My daughter never did get to go back there. I said, baby, you was fired. You fired when you when you woke up. You went to, when you When you were standing there shelving, you had a job. When you woke up, you was jobless. You had a job the whole time you were asleep. Whole time you had a job. But when you cracked your eyes open, that's when you was fired. So, at any rate, the lessons come hard and fast in my house. That's the motto I always told my kids in my house. The, less, the lessons come hard and fast. You better learn them. All right, I'm going to go. Bye.